This textile would be worth $350,000. On a good day, it's about a half a million dollars. Oh my god. If you want more content from our channel, then all you have to do is smash that red subscribe button right down there. Hey there guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. While many sit behind desks with towering paperwork stacked to the ceiling, few people escape this fate for being fortunate, perhaps even God's favorites. From rolling dollars in their bank accounts to expensive, luxurious cars lined up in their gigantic garage while they sip drinks in a manner with peacocks in their garden, people are shocked they acquired this by doing nada, nothing. Let's have a look who these lucky people are. Number 10. Zach's Picasso Grab In a thrift store where many items lay useless, Zach Bodish bought a painting with the words Picasso written on it, which was bought for just under $15. What he didn't know is that that painting was actually an original artwork of the famous artist Pablo Picasso himself. The discovery of the painting's legitimacy made him rich and was given about $7,000 by a private buyer. I certainly could use the money, but how often am I going to find a, another Picasso print? Number 9. The Christ Mocked Painting You never know what your ancestors have left you, and an anonymous woman felt this when a 13th century artwork of Renaissance artist Simabu also known as Seni di Pipo, and was worth $6 million, according to the France experts who have looked into analyzing every nook of the painting to justify its originality, was hung in her kitchen all those years and was discovered when she first decided to sell the house. It was a long last work, and the woman said there was no disputing to get the painting where it came from. To prove its worth, Experts use infrared technology, contrasting the painting with other works of Simabu, and in the end, one did conclude the painting was done by the same hand which was printed in the French newspaper Le Figaro, such as the painting's potential. They also figured out by scrutinizing the panel that was eaten up by moths, disclosing that both of Simabu's paintings were of the same material the prestigious artist was used to work on. The painting was called Christ Mocked. Have a look around in your own house. Maybe you turn out as lucky as this elderly woman. The painting was done by the same hand, art expert Rick Turkin told French newspaper Le Figaro. Number 8. Szechuan Sauce Fever Gone Viral As told in the Rick and Morty show, Szechuan Sauce was the best sauce McDonald's could ever come up with. Back in the late 1990s, it was loved by many. But after its reference in Rick and Morty, many people who kept the wrapper of the old condiment sold it on eBay for up to $15,000. In 1998, they had this promotion for the Disney film Mulan, where they, where they, they, they created a new sauce for the McNuggets called Szechuan Sauce. Number 7. Scott Unearths a Treasure If you love games, you'd be surprised how one could forget about a game they bought and never played. Scott Amos, a family guy from Nevada, was casually cleaning his childhood home, sweeping the floor, taking out the garbage, a thorough job, and he found a sealed game back from 1987, Kid Icarus, in a shopper of J.C. Penney with a receipt. Now, Kid Icarus was a rare game back in their day, played on Nintendo Entertainment System, something like GTA 5, when it was first released. However, worth a lot of that time, he had paid about $40 to purchase that item, so it came as a surprise when video game consignment director Valerie McClecky said it could be worth a lot, lot more. It was sold for $10,000 even if he says he doesn't even remember buying it. Quite the lucky pal, isn't he? A rare unopened copy of a video game has earned its finder quite the prize. It just sold at auction for $9,000. Number 6. Not-So-Fake Diamond Ring Another woman who refused to reveal her identity was not hesitant to tell her tale to the public. In a flea market, some 30 years back, she was in London and came across this ring she liked at the first glance. She bought what she was told and thought was a costume ring that she only bought for about $13, that's like 10 pounds. She wore that ring for the following years like a habitual thing as it was heavy, pretty, and exceptionally realistic. 
in 2017, a jeweler came to her side to appreciate the diamond ring, telling her it must be worth a lot. Confused, she said she got it from the flea market, but the expert told her it was otherwise with his keen eye. She had it appraised, and she was appalled when she figured out it was a 26-carat diamond, a ring she always imagined to mean nothing with its rusty silver lining and considerably dull glow. It was estimated to be sold for about $400,000, but after it was auctioned, it was actually purchased for double the amount. Number 5. Painting on the Wall A man had an off-putting hole in his wall, so he covered it with a painting that he had for quite a long time. Little did he know, however, it was a 19th century painting by the famous American artist Johnson Head. One of a kind, and after discovering that, the Museum of Fine Arts offered him $1.5 million just for the print. Number 4. A Sailor's Family Taken Care Of Many Americans look for the U.S. Navy job when they want advantage and adventure all stuffed into one package. This isn't subjected to a single person, but their spouse and children who would be getting their paychecks when the aforementioned passes away. It might be peculiar at first to take it in, but in the old times, there was no life insurance. Therefore, one could only be hopeful, foolish enough to consider their family would do okay after they die. So when a person in the Royal Navy died, a rule was established to help them in their journey, their name would officially be among the list of workers on the ship, and the paycheck was given to the family every month. The families were paid without needing to do the job and therefore, wealth that came out of one drawback, the life of a loved one. It hurts to know, but at least the sailors have reassured their families on the shore don't starve and suffer when they're gone. Step off! <laughs> Number three, Thea's gift to daughter. $7,000 are enough when your daughter grows old and doesn't want to play dress up anymore. Thea Jordan brought a brooch from a market for a few dollars and both sides thought it was a random fake jewelry which was false. It was from the late 1880s having value and worth that was not yet established, an ancient brooch that once belonged to the crown princesses of Russia. Well, there you go kid, you're really a royal young lady. Number 2. The Declaration of Independence not many regard the worth of the Declaration of Independence, which was made in 1776. The patriotic Americans cherished the two originals that exist, but another copy of it was found by a man who only wanted the frame of an ugly painting he bought, but found the real copy tucked in the back of the canvas when he tore it open. There have been many sightings and unearthing of more copies, but this one was for more than two million dollars. Number 1. Lorenz's Life Turned Around Lorenz Kritzer didn't have a really good life, being surrounded by health and financial troubles. One day, when he was watching a Red Run episode, he saw a Navajo blank worth half a million dollars, which was from the 1800s, something more valuable than a clot you wrap yourself in when you're cold. The exact one that was folded up in his closet all those years, which was his grandmother's. He took it to the auction and sold it for the same amount. I paused it, put got the bike, and I'm sitting there like going, hold it up, going, guys, let's get the bike. This brings us to the end of our video, which we hope you guys enjoyed. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more videos from our channel in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are already on your screen right now, as I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.